so hi again guys welcome back to my channel and we are at tutorial number eight in this series designing with zara and for this tutorial we're doing a second travel social media post design and i just went ahead before i start recording it and designed this cover because usually when i download it i put it on my social i post it on my social media so this would be what i post on my social media so i just kind of created this cover um before I started recording. So, I don't know, I liked the idea of neutral colors like purple, um, brown, gray, along with gold. Sorry about that. And I just went and started and tried this design. Um, I think it came out great. So, going into it, um, so the same as the previous video, um, I've never designed travel social media posts prior to the last tutorial. So, um, just to get into you know what that looks like in terms of templates and aesthetics that is why i will rely on google or the internet to help me with using previous designs as a template for how i'm going to design what i want to design right and just to reiterate like every other video this is not using the internet is as a guide is not the same thing as copying and pasting you, you it should be a guide for your creativity so you should still put your own creativity in your own designs right so just so i went ahead and i google searched the same thing i did in the last tutorial and the last tutorial if we could find it here we use some pretty cool designs but just so we used some pretty cool designs and we created some pretty cool designs in the last tutorial. So just to go back over those, we're not recreating these same things that we did last time. So these are the ones that we created. And so these were really great, I think. And so the aim today is just to create more attractive yet simple social media um, post designs. Of course, that I surrounded. That's surrounded. That's around. So I'm just scrolling through. I'm seeing if I find any templates or group or group of templates that I like. Um, going back to the top. So these are nice. Um, so today, like the previous one too, I'll be doing five designs. So most of the times I do five designs because I think it's easy to break down um, five designs into like less than an hour recording or a tutorial. Um, these look nice as well. The thing is though, um, after you guys get a niche for creating things, you can create things that have more dynamics in terms of these because to do this in a tutorial even though it's creative and attractive is going to be time consuming so then these are a little bit too time consuming so I did actually like these from the last time I scroll through so like for example I have I, I'm sorry I know of someone who I went to university with who knows a travel agency so if you own a travel agency let's say you needed to design social media posts right and put that on your Instagram and your Facebook right and you wanted to do something like this just to highlight like trips and discount tickets etc Yes, it just so I think the post today would be more around promotional social media post design. So if you have like a travel company or anything like that and you want to get into the knack of creating a social media um, post using Canva, then I think these would be a great template. So I do like this one. I like this one. All of them look nice, but I'm just going to do it. So before I go into doing that, I am just going to see. So these look nice, so nice and simple. The same thing that I was saying, if you have a social media post as a travel agency, 
right? So these are um, social vanity and political signs, these two ones. So the last time I used this, um, um, let me do that. Okay, so like I say, there are a lot of um, templates here, so that's a great thing with people creating a lot of templates. You have a, bit, a lot of variation to choose from, right? The last time I used this, these designs as a template for the previous tutorial. So now my options are between this one right here. I'm going to open up. Now I'm just going to open up a second option, so this is this one. So now it's between two options. So I was thinking between something like this and something like this. So um, I may not be really create this, but I do like this one because it seems like it has a bit more creative day in it. But this is more structured. Not that I don't like the structured um, idea. I do like everything about this one. So like the typography and the layouts and all of that. So if anything, I'll probably use both because some of the designs are pretty cool, like this and these are cool. If you can actually feel some ideas. So if it's even like creating something like this, but I'll do the same two solid colors, or make one larger and then keep the theme of this, but the design of this. So you can play around with it. So I'm just going to, do that right now. So I think the first thing I'm going to design is kind of like this grid. And then we're going to get into that. So let's create this grid. I think I want this. So I so from this, I think my background color is this color. And I'm gonna keep that consistent through that. So okay. Okay, so yeah, um, now in terms of creating grid. So let's see, you can use a grid in your elements. So you scroll down. These are your frames in Canva, but they more or less serve the same purpose of a grid, right? So I'm just going to show you this. Okay, so in keeping with the same thematics of this, um, okay, okay, so I'm going to large some of this, this to the right. I'm gonna not carry this always to the edge. But as close as possible, and then I'm gonna start to it. Right, I'm gonna lock it in. It's not even being uninterrupted for three of that. And then I'm going to show you guys a frame. So these are what the frames look like. So Canva have updated their frames in terms of using these torn slash ripped frames. But if you even go and type grid. Your grid and your frames are technically the same. The only thing with your grid is you cannot group them, right? So if I use like four grids, I'm not able to group them. Your grids are not groupable. So what you can actually do, and I'll show you this right now. You can open up something like this. I'm going to just use a random picture, arbitrary picture. I'm going to drag and drop it. Hmm. 
I'm actually going to enlarge it, right? So if you look at this picture here, this quadrant is much larger than this, this one. And then I'm going to keep two solid colors and the same type of um, designs for these ones and these two pictures here. So what I'm going to do is use two pictures on this, this zoom, and then do the same one with this, but I'm going to put the solid color opposite to it, right? So that was my intention, so I am just going to change this to green. I don't want to do that. I'm going to change this purple color. So, uh This has something like this. So it says travel. Okay, so, so I'm going to use this solid blue color and white and this um this design and this design, right? I'm gonna use them. So let's see how that works out. So I'm gonna unlock this. And after this um, one, I so I'm trying to solve it. Put it to here, and I'm going to do this in green. And I'm going to do it in black first. So that's that in terms of that's what I wanted to go and lock it so that I can alter this. I'm using this and this, so I already have the streak here and the trouble. So, okay, okay so okay, cut it. Oh 
okay so the first song group but this design may be a little bit long very but it yes So now I'm going to do the text and I'll change this once so once over. So let's look in the middle of the one this year. So I'm using the same Indonesia, right? Um, I could do it. Yeah, this was an idea. So okay, so All right, so that's the country name. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Let me bring that down. And we have the same theme like this, the same line here, and then some in some 
captured in the main topics in terms of the typography, the writing in the solid by right there, I'm still capturing this. So like I was saying earlier, you can actually, if you like tools, different yet similar ideas, if you find a way to fuse them, which I've used in this idea here, and this one right here, to create this right here, right? In terms of the typography and the layout, right? The font, sorry, the font and the layout. So I just feel so 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 let me do a little bit more. In terms of these, I'm going to make this for so from earlier. Remember that I said you can lock a creator, however, you can, I think you're able to do this. So I'm just going to line it up and then shape it to size. And then I'm going to change this to dark purple to purple. And I think I'm going to do I'm going to make this. Okay, this looks so some time because I need to get rid of this one so that I can spend all the rest. Um okay, so trouble. capturing the lens and then part of the book, right? So right, so okay, so just to see where we are to design that tool code. Mm, a solid color. Okay, so why do I keep doing that? So I guess for this one, like let's say if you have a travel company. Okay. 
okay so i guess it's just sticks um just sticks we can use our trouble so Okay, so this one is supposed to be in the nature. So right here, I'm um, inverting the text, right? So that's what I'm still doing. The last time I went in the nature in this um, different fonts. So I'm just switching up. Shadow tip on the nature. So I'm just hurrying up and this one i can use this concept as well as this concept so i'm going to design four more and then just speed through that so you guys can see me do these five social media posts and this is very fun and creative so yeah you guys go so on to the remaining five so i do like this one and i like this one these ones are hard So I don't like this one, so this is the only one right here. So I'm going to just one side for the time.
Okay, so this last design concludes this week's tutorial and just this tutorial overall. This is the fifth and the last one, so I'm going to just go back through all the templates that I use to design my social media posts. Yeah, so we can minimize in Canva. At first, we use we created a design based off this and this. And then I did one, a design with this. I did a design with this. I designed with, I used this as a design. And I used this one as a design. Okay, so now we have canvas or something I did not do this. Okay, and so the five designs that I did are these. So this is the cover page when I, as I said previously, early in this tutorial, but this is the cover page that you see when I post this on my Instagram account. And these are the five um, travel SMP designs that I created. So this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third, fourth, and the fifth one. And remember that I used these two right so one two three four five ten so like i said the aim is not to imitate or quote unquote copy exactly what someone has done before it's to use what persons have previously done as a guide for your creativity so thanks for watching remember to like comment and subscribe i was really fun creating these things so thanks for watching